I like to know where people stand so I know how to treat you accordingly. They be trying to do it, I'm just doing me. Yeah. I'll be working hard, they just want it free. Be competitive with yourself. Hey, what's going on? It's Jay Sean for another video. This one right here is just more in a style pickup um, with some, I guess, fashion and clothes, that type of stuff. This is just for your feet, footwear. Uh, the first one is some off-white slides. I'm not a huge off-white fan, but, you know, it's a respectable brand. Some of the stuff I see is interesting, but I'm not a big off-white fan. Um, but let me just show you what I picked up. So with slides, I normally go a size up, but you have to be careful. Like my Fendi slides, I should have definitely went a size down, which would technically be my actual size. I never get slides with my heel touching the very end because I don't always jam my foot hard into any type of slide. So I like a very like quarter inch type spacing in the back of my heel because I want it to look comfortable, not like a snug fit. Um, in reality, I guess if you want it to feel super proper like a sock or something on your foot uh, i guess you will get your exact size for most of the time i think most people do that it's just something i choose not to do um i was able to get these uh a size up and they still fit fine though but let me just show you this real quick this is the boxing that comes with it um again for me this is my first off-white anything uh this particular pair of off-white slides uh this specific style color everything is exclusive to neiman marcus so if you want this specific one in color only uh that's where you have to get it from so with that being said let me open this up because again i've never had anything off-white so you're going to see it with me this is how it comes now i'm gonna be honest with you with this color right oh, i think i hit my whole camera my bad his receipt you still get a dust bag which is nice and some regular paperwork stuff in my receipt let me just throw this in here so i have to be honest with you the first time that i ever seen this color was when kanye west got his slides that a lot of people have with the little zigzaggy bottoms or whatever you want to call it the the grip on the bottom and when i first saw that color i'm like beige or that tan color khaki color for me what i know about khaki anything is that uh if it's too dark it's very hard to match because you don't want to share too many tones within the same family it looks weird to me like you're wearing too many shades of one color or something like that but I'm going to be honest, when I see people wear it, I actually like it. They could wear black with it, white with it, jeans with it, whatever. It's actually a more universal color than I was expecting once I actually got to see people in a regular world just wearing it. And um, so I've now I'm kind of my eyes are kind of open for the color. Right. So when I saw these, I was like, all right, these these not bad. I, I saw the color is very similar. I'm not saying it's the same exact color, um, but it's not bad. This is how they always do off white. They make things like you can't understand things or something like that. Where we like shoe in parentheses or something like, you know, I mean, to each his own. I guess that's the whole thing that I'm just not super hip to. This camera ain't focusing, so I'm just going to do this real quick. It says off-white. Telling you how many pounds it can hold and all this other stuff. I mean, the good thing, it says designed in Milan. I believe that's what the box says. Yeah, designed in Milan, Italy, but even on here, it actually says made in Italy. So it's not like saying it's made in China, but designed in uh, somewhere else type of thing. These are only uh, 42s. Uh, one thing about these, I don't know how slippery they are, um, like on the street or something. But, and they made this opposite. So this is obviously the right, but they wrote left and this is the opposite. And this symbol right here is confusing to me. I'm not going to lie to you because I see a lot of brands with something very close that it confuses me what it, what it is I'm actually looking at. Um, but yeah, that's a whole nother story, I guess. Uh, and they're black inside right here. But one thing I want to show you this real quick. One thing about these, I don't know if you can kind of see it. There's like a hump right here where the bottom of your foot would go into where it sits into the slide. Right. You see that little hump sort of. For me, I'm used to adjustable slides. So this band right here, I'm used to like Nike ones where you can. Well, I got a lot of LeBrons and stuff like that. You can pretty much strap it tight to your feet. So if my foot is a little spaced right here, like I said, I like it doesn't matter because I can tighten it. My Fendi's, I can't do it because it's like a leather band. 
and it's a little too big right here. So one thing I noticed that I really like about these, and I believe Balenciaga's were the same, that hump right here kind of pushes my foot up into this part right here because I don't have a big wide foot or a thick foot or anything like that. It makes it fit very snug. So even me going to size up and without this being adjustable, my foot fits very snug. On my Fendi's, they're so heavy compared to regular slides that I would consider regular slides. And also... Um, because this is a little too spacious right here for me because um, I don't have a gap. I mean, this look bump right here is flat. So my foot is not pressed it up. The, the slides tend to feel a little too loose for me. Now, my heel still comes back here like a quarter inch off or something really close where you're not going to look at him like, dang, why his slide so big? It's just they, they feel kind of uh, floppy on me because they're not snug here so I've been to like um, Shiri player paces or at least only one to be honest with you I was trying to find out if there's something I can add on the bottom here where I can push my foot in but now that this is a bump I didn't want to stick any adhesive type of material on the actual slide itself because when I take them off, it's going to look goofy to see something there. But I might see if I can find some like little gel pad thing if it's black or something and I'll put it on my Fendi so my foot can rise up a little bit and fit snuggy like these do. So at first glance, you might look at these and think, you know what, these just look like some cheap slides from Five Below. And in some ways they really do, but there's like Balenciaga's, Givenchy, um, Burberry, Louis Vuitton, they all kind of have this generic looking pool type of slide. But I will say after having them in my hand and trying them on, they feel better than your Five Below type of slide or flip-flop or whatever. Is it worth the money? Obviously not, but I'm just saying it's not as cheap this design here is known to be just a cheap slide is what I'm saying, a generic slide. So when some people look at stuff like this and need to spend hundreds of dollars, you may at first glance be like, that's definitely not worth it because I'm, I'm like that too. I look at it and be like, man, these are some $2 uh, five below type Walmart slides or something like that. And in some ways they are, but it is a little bit better than that. It's not as cheap as you may think or first impression, just looking at it on a picture. The color is nice. You can wear it with multiple different colors and different styles and ways. Um, you can wear it to the pool if you want to. I'm just going to wear it how I wear it, which is basically just a relaxed thing. I, want, I don't feel like getting dressed up. I just want to put some on my feet real quick and, and dip out. That's pretty much my point and my purpose. Everybody has their own reasons and way they want to do it. Now, uh, with that being said, would it have been cool if maybe something was here? Uh, something, maybe a little bit something, just so it wasn't so plain, but it doesn't actually look bad. Um, overall, I still like it. These cost, um, for slides and any type of designer lane, they're actually pretty affordable. Uh, it's compared to regular slides like Nikes, they're pretty expensive. But in the designer lane, they are pretty affordable. These are 250 um so yeah that's what they are 250 not that bad so that's pretty much it um with that being said uh let me know if you have any questions below again if you want this specific colorway this specific style this specific one right here you got to get it from neiman marcus only it's exclusive to them as far as i know so let me just try to get a thumbnail see if i can get this to focus there you go all right so with that being said, make sure you do everything at top level, at your top level. And remember, you're no competition with anybody except yourself. So make sure your next move is your best move, or at least your better move. Till next time. Later.